Hi, um, today I want to talk about risk taking because um, if you're an entrepreneur, of course, you're going to be taking some risks, but should you be taking every risk or should you be very smart in terms of which risks you choose to take? So, um, of course, when you um, um, have a safety cushion in terms of uh, your financial situation, you are more likely to take the risks. And I would argue that this makes you reckless because it is much better to come from a, a place where your resources are limited because it creates discipline and it forces you to think and to really evaluate every action that you're going to take. And so, of course, you have to operate as an entrepreneur uh, with incomplete information, right? And sometimes you have to make assumptions uh, to supplement the information that you don't have, right? To guess what that information is going to be. And we don't know in advance which assumptions are correct or not correct, right? However, what's very important is to create a process to evaluate whether a risk is worth taking and at which point you want to get out of the situation and pursue a different course. The balance here is to really be unafraid to explore the unknown, not to be um, uh, rattled by uncertainty, right, that you have to deal with, but instead reduce this uncertainty to a number of variables that you can measure and then make decisions as the information about those variables becomes available. So this is what I teach uh, at the startup station. Uh, this is the curriculum uh, that I've created that helps you look at your business model, look at the uncertainty that you're dealing with and reduce it to a number of variables that reflect the business model and help you evaluate uh, the financial feasibility of your venture. For more information on how to create assumptions for each of the business models, please take our course number two and um, go to www.thestartupstation.com to learn more. Thank you for watching.